HRS is turning 40 years this year, and it, that is such a great time, I think, to look back a little bit on how many things we have achieved over the last 40 years and how many exciting things I think we are going to achieve over the next 40 years. So the timing was right for a summit that specifically looked at where we're going. You know, look at exciting new technology that's coming our way. This, the, that's what we're hoping to see with the Emerging Technology Summit. So I think we're going to see a lot of new and exciting, not just technology coming our way in the next five years, but I'd like to think that we are gonna make progress in just an overall patient management from an electrophysiology standpoint. And that incorporates everything from the Digital Health Summit, which really looks at um, patient management in, 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 in a new era of, of incorporating digital health into medical records and into patient management and taking that to the next step, which is how do we treat the patients? What kind of new procedures and technology will we have for ablation procedures? Pacemakers, leadless pacemakers, uh, that's an example of something that I think really has taken pacing to a whole new level. I think it's really important to have a summit that, that looks ahead. Because sometimes we can sit back and we say, hey, 40 years of HRS and pat ourselves on the shoulder and say we're, we're doing so well. And we are doing well, but we need to look in the future and we need to stay with the times and we need to stay current. And the only way we do that is by getting together as, as a big group speakers, chairmen, audience, everyone there to, to talk and discuss and learn from each other. And that's really what we hope to see from these summits.